Hey YouTube! Today is part two on how to make your own foam puppet. Let's get to it. Oh, hee ho, hee ho, cheeky cheek in a big bowl. Like chickens, like to hatch them eggs to eat them up, eat them up, poke a low. I love some chucky. All right, all right. So, guys, today, um, in the last video, I said I was going to do the mouth plate, but doing the foam kind of ran long. So, part two is going to be actually putting, making the mouth plate. And uh, like I said, the way I do it is totally different than anybody else. Um, I kind of like to wing it and not use measurements and try to do this and do that because and the reason why I do that with my puppets is because That way every puppet turns out different every foam head turns out different and I just kind of wing it and because it gives each puppet personality So that's the way I do it. Um, I'm sure a lot of people don't do it that way um, But anyway, this is part two and we're gonna be doing the mouth plate so uh Let's get to it. <laughs> now what you want to do is get a piece of paper, fold it in half, right? Fold it in half. Now the reason why I wait and make the mouthpiece is because you never know how the foam's going to end up. So what you want to do is you want to stick that baby on in there like this, right? Stick it in there like that. You see how I have the paper like that? And then you're going to want to trace it. And this will give you an estimate of what your uh, mouthpiece is going to be like. So take your pen and just trace around it like that. And then do the same for the top. Line it up as much as you can. <laughs> I'm having a hard time, people. And then so. Hey, don't roll away. So now you got a basic, you see how the top is bigger than the bottom? It doesn't matter because you can form this, you can make a big lip on the bottom. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. You can change it all around. So now that I've got this, what I'm gonna do is just cut this out and I'm gonna go with the bigger piece And this is, like I said, it's just going to be a guesstimate. So there's the mouthpiece. And if you notice that the bottom is bigger, or the top is bigger than the bottom, it's okay. Like I said, when we go to glue this in here, you can always come back and trim the mouthpiece like that. So let's go ahead and get started on the mouthpiece. So what I do is, is I use Lego cardboard and don't use it on a fold, but go ahead and trace around this mouthpiece because this, like I said, this is just a guesstimate of it and it doesn't have to be precise just close to it right so 
when you do that, make sure you mark where the fold is. So that's where the fold is, bottom, top. It's not gonna matter too much. I mean, you could even do it in half and fold the thing over. It doesn't really matter too much. So then go ahead and cut that baby out. Hey, come back here. <laughs> and like I said, you're just, you're guesstimating because you're going to trim it to fit the skull. This is just a rough guesstimate of the mouth plate. And I know other people line it up and want it to be perfect, but I do it this way because A, it's easy, and B, um, each puppet I make is different. They all have different styles, different looks, and, st and so on. So now that I got the mouthpiece, what I'm going to do is I take that thin foam that I talked about before, that thin foam, and I use it, something like that. So what you're going to need to do is first of all, get your contact cement. And you're going to want to use it on this. And I'll go ahead and mark this just for the heck of it so I know where to glue. And like I said, it's just a, a rough guesstimate. So now that I got that, start spreading your glue. And like I said, you want it to be a thin, a thin coat of glue. You don't want it to be thick. Because it takes long, the, the thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry. Now, get your cardboard and do the same. And that's why they call it contact cement, because when it makes contact, that's how it sticks. So go ahead and do your mouth plate. Okay, now you're going to want to let this sit and dry um, so it's just lightly tacky, but you see how it's, it's kind of wet here. Um, you need to let that dry a little bit and because that way it just, it, it, it dries quicker. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. Something like that. And what I like to do is I like to put something heavy on it uh, just so it gets a nice seal in there. I've put books, I've put all kinds of stuff on top of it. But it does, it'll be okay. And like I said, 
a lot of people do puppets differently. Mine are quick and easy, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this puppet yet. I don't know. I have no idea what he's going to be until I see, you know, until it gets closer to being finished. But, um, so I, I, I'm not sure what he's going to be like. But one thing you can do while you're waiting for this is, if you notice the ridge here, it's not flat. So what I do is, is I go in there and I trim this to make it flat. So when I go to glue it, I don't know if you can you see that or not. It just makes it flatter. So when you go to glue it, right? <laughs> All right. So how's this doing over here? Looks pretty good. It's getting there. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw on this here, on this side, this line. See this line here? And that's just basically where half of the mouth is. Like I said, it does not have to be precise because you're going to come back and trim it anyway. And uh, so let's go ahead and keep on going with this. And I'll be done with this glue. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and trim this off here. So what you do, just go ahead, trim around the cardboard. To get the foam off. And it doesn't matter if you get anything on this foam. This is just to give it strength. Um, you're going to cover this with felt. So save your foam. So now we're going to do, make sure it's got a nice seal to it. Now we're going to do the other side. Let's go ahead and mark this as well. You don't have to draw all the way around it. You just need to, so when you go to glue, you know where to glue. So go ahead and start gluing. Why'd I put it in the middle? <laughs> it's gonna make it hard to get to the rest. Do this piece. All right, let that sit and dry. And I always get stuff on my hands. <laughs> da, 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 da. And uh, 
if you you can see the sheen on it when it becomes a dull you can see this one's become dull a little bit that's when you're going to want to place this on there you see like that but I'm gonna let it dry this one this one needs to dry more so we're gonna let him dry a little bit now go ahead and place that bad boy on there hold it down there make sure you get a good scene and you can do this type of stuff get it nice and get the nice and flat Got a little bit of glue on my shears. All right. So, now you want to make that, hold it down, get it nice and firm. And then you're going to take your straight edge and then you're going to bend that over once it dries. But um, let's go ahead and make it on both sides. Take that line. Whoops. Make that line. Like I said, you're going to cover this with felt, so you're not going to see any of this. So. Okay. Now, this is red felt. This is what we're going to use for the mouthpiece. And what we're going to do, we're basically going to do the same thing that we did over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace around here. And just so we know where the glue is going to go. All right. So go ahead and get your glue again. And go ahead and put it on your felt. And you're going to want to put it as close as you can to the edges because you want it to make a good seal. However, when you come back, the hot glue will cover those up pretty much. So it, it makes a good seal. And just keep on gluing on around. piece of foam in there. Let's get that foam out. Oh, now the foam stuck to my finger. <laughs> All right. Now the felt you can pretty much get at any craft store. You maybe even you maybe can get it at a dollar store. I don't know. I've never really looked for felt at a dollar store. Um, just because I didn't think they had it. It's already starting to dry up on me. All right, so 
there's that. So now that we got the glue on there, we're going to go ahead and since we already had the mouth plate marked where we're going to bend it, just go ahead and put it on there the best that you can. And, um, and then press it, press it on there like so. And, oh, no, well, that's all right. I'm just going to do it. I forgot to put it on the back of this. My bad. So just coat a little bit on here. I'm in a hurry, so luckily it was pretty thick on the felt, so it actually got a little bit on the back of this mouthpiece. And uh, now that you got it on there and all over yourself, <laughs> go ahead and put it back on there like that. And just hold that baby on there. Now, this, this way that I'm doing it today is the simple quick, easy, fast way. And I mean, I know there's like tons of different ways to do this. And, um, and mine might not be the precise way, but it, for me, it's the easy way. And like I said, I've done them so much that there's shortcuts that I use and, um, and different things. And, and so, uh, just hold that on there for a moment and you should be good to go. Should be good enough to go ahead and cut the felt. All right. So that's basically it. We're going to come back and trim this up. It's not finished by, by a long shot. Um, so we'll just keep pressing here for a minute. Put this, we don't need this glue anymore. Thank God, because man, is it stinking. All right, so this is going to be our mouthpiece that's going to go in here. So once this dries, we're going to fold it and put it inside there, okay? Okay, now we got our handy dandy glue gun, link down there at the description where you can get you one. We got our head, which I didn't notice this earlier, but I need to trim this a little bit to get it flat. But what I wanted to show you as far as the mouth plate is concerned, I wanted to show you, I'm going to bring it up close so you can see it's like a waffle it's like cardboard two layers of foam in the felt and normally i like to let this dry overnight but i didn't do it this time because i'm in a hurry and you really shouldn't be in a hurry to do this but what you want to do next is you want to put that see how i've got the lines marked and then you're going to want to fold that. So, looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and fold it. And if you notice, the top is bigger than the bottom, just like the puppet. So there you go. There's your mouthpiece. It's not great, but it's good enough. And like I said, I should have let it dry a little longer because it's getting wrinkles in it. 
but I didn't do that um, because I'm in a hurry. So now what you want to do is you want to put that bad boy in there. Now you see how big it is? It's way, way bigger than the foam. You see that? But it's okay because you can come back and trim it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to mark it and come back and trim it. Now, the good news is if you can make the head wider by doing it this way, or you can make it skinnier. So depending on how you want the width of your puppet, you can trim this up and glue it the way you want it. So um, I'm going to make it wider. So anyway, I'm getting a little wrinkle here because I didn't let it dry long enough. But that's all right. This is just for display purposes only. So there's our mouthpiece. Um, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and mark this how I want it. And... So I'm going to make it kind of like that. That should be just fine. All right. So you got the bottom piece marked. And like I said, I made it a little wide. Now let's do the top piece. All right. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut this. And like I said, you can always trim it. You can always trim it up if it's not perfect in the mouth. And there we have our mouthpiece. See, it's a little smaller on the bottom, but that's okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hot glue gun and I'm going to glue right down here on the foam. And I'm going to put a healthy amount. Ow! Dripped on my hands. And then I'm going to put this bad boy in there as best I can. Lining it up with the edge of the mouthpiece. Having technical difficulties here. I should have done one side and stopped there. <laughs> I mean, you can always come back and hot glue it. Like I said, I'm in a hurry. And just hold it on there till it dries. And like I said, you can come back. Oh, I need some more glue. It keeps coming out. Let's just hold it. I'm in a hurry. I've been rushing.
And then what you want to do is you're just going to go on around with it. So let's put a little bit more glue here and come on around with it. Getting a little head rush here. Russian. Oh, came unstuck on this side. Came stuck off this side too now. Why is it ain't sticking? All right, well, there's our mouth plate. It's in the puppet. I didn't do such a good time this time. Didn't do a good job this time. Uh, it's just not, I didn't do a good job, but it's not gonna matter. Like I said, we're gonna have, uh, got a few places here I can add some glue. And, uh, so I'll let that dry. But you can come back, once this is dry, you can come back and trim as much as you need to. You can see here, this side is not very, it's not done very good. But anyway, once that glue is dry and you got a nice seal on it, then you can come back and trim. It looks pretty good. So there we go. There's our head. Um, I've never, <laughs> this one is kind of weird looking. I don't think I've ever done one like this. I think the mouth plate was too wide, not deep enough on the bottom there. Um, but like I said, we're going to come back and we're going to tighten this up a little bit. Got a little glue on the felt here. Pick that off. But it's going to be hidden anyway. It's going to be underneath 
So there's there's our puppet head. Um, man, that is not a good job. That is sloppy. It's probably the sloppiest job I ever did. It's, it's all weird and it just that is just oh man, that's just funny looking. And you can come back if you can see. There's a place here that needs a little glue. Um, so yeah, there's our, there's our foam puppet head. All right. Well, there's the mouth plate. Um, I was rushing and man, I, I, uh, it didn't turn out the way I thought it would, but you know, I guess I'll have to, uh, do some stuff. Um, I don't know if you notice, but here, I'll show you. Look how much of a gap as the overbite. It's got way more overbite. So I may add a lip right along here. I've never put lips on anything, but it'll extend the mouth, the bottom part of the mouth out a little bit. So I may do that. I don't know. I, like I said, I've never, this is new territory for me today. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video on, you know, how to build a foam puppet part two and uh, uh, w building the mouth plate. Now, the mouth plate will be very durable. I love the way it works uh, for me. Um, you can actually, when you're talking with the puppet, you can actually move your fingers. And being that it's so pliable, the mouth will do different things and you can do different shapes with the mouth. Uh, but anyway, if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, ring the button, hit the do, hit the hi, 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 and do all that stuff that you have to do to stay up to date with the newest videos. And we'll see you again here on the Timmy2 Network. We'll see you later. <laughs> Chutney. I like a big fat beef chutney.